for profanity-laced tirade. Frankly, the most insane conversation I'd ever had with a government official. The shortest tenured communications director. I'm not Steve Bannon. I'm not trying to blank my own blank. There were certain things I did not like. I'm not going to say I liked everything. It wasn't his job to have me like everything. Um, but I thought it was accurate. I mean, I can't look at the movie and say, okay, that is not an accurate portrayal. And so the weird thing about documentaries is everybody's got flaws and everybody makes mistakes. And so we like to, because we have to live in some level of denial for survival purposes, we like to pretend that we don't have those things. And so when you get a documentary like that, it's like a face slam to the mat in terms of the realness of what you really are as a person. On the campaign trail, I didn't really feel that these were people that were racist. I felt that these were people that were economically desperate. So I don't like the dog whistles getting blown on either side. But as it relates specifically to the president, I'm a straight shooter. I would tell him right here, right now, if he's sitting here in this room, I wouldn't be using those words because those words are holding back your approval rating. There's some very smart, pragmatic people that really like your policies, but and they also have a very good understanding of history, and they also know the doctrine of unintended consequences, someone like you talking from the bully pulpit like that, what that could lead to. Words like nationalism, white nationalism, and this sort of stuff is not helpful. Are you with me? I think of Anthony as this driver, the guy who wants to get on the inside. And what's the number one thing you need to be present? Credibility. No, you need name recognition. Trump needed the help of people like Anthony to raise money. Will you yeah. gather the money that's here? More yeah. than a trillion. Yeah, it's a very small group of people. It's going to be great for you politically because it's going to bring a big group of people out to vote. And they read the Bible and they're not supposed to like transgender people. I mean, it's really a bunch of malarkey. OK, so at the end of the day, I have no problem railing against that. I have no problem being an advocate for transgender people, gays and lesbians, because, you know, maybe you chose your sexuality, John. I didn't choose mine. And so my attitude is. If you've been endowed by God or the creator or the universe with your sexual preference, we should be able to figure out in our society how to allow you to live your life in a way where you can express your happiness.